seems you are stuck in tutorial hell again. Let's talk about why more tutorials won't make you a programmer. Alright, let's be real. How many hours have you spent watching programming tutorials? You're learning syntax, building simple apps, maybe even feeling like you're making progress. But then, when you try to build something on your own, you freeze. Every step feels like you're missing something and the only way forward, another tutorial. Here's the thing. Tutorials alone won't make you a programmer. In fact, they might be holding you back from real progress. Sounds bold, right? But stick with me and I'll show you why constantly relying on tutorials could be costing you way more time than it's saving. So many beginners fall into the same trap. They go from one tutorial to the next, hoping that the next one will be the magic solution. And it's understandable. Programming is tough, especially when you're starting out. It's natural to look for a guide to seek help. Tutorials feel like the perfect solution. You're learning the syntax, copying projects, feeling like, hey, I'm making progress. But here's the thing, tutorials teach you to follow steps, not necessarily to think like a programmer. You're learning patterns, but you're not fully grasping why those patterns work. Imagine this, you're following along with a tutorial to build a SaaS website using M-E-R-N stack. You're keeping up, but you don't actually know why certain lines are there. You're just trying to keep pace typing along. Most guides are built to show you the end product, not the deeper why behind each part of the code. And that's where a lot of people get tripped up. If all you do is copy and follow along, you're missing out on learning from mistakes. One of the most valuable parts of the journey. Tutorials show you the end result, but they skip the messy parts, the bugs, the trial and error that actually teach you how to solve real problems. See, Tutorials are great for introducing you to concepts, but if you rely on them too heavily, you'll never build the skills you need to solve problems on your own. That's why it's so important to work on your own projects, even if it takes longer or feels harder at first. When you get stuck, dive into the documentation. If you're really stuck, Google it or try finding help in communities. It may feel like the long way, but every time you troubleshoot, read documentation, or find a solution on your own, you're building the kind of problem solving skills that tutorials can't give you. And those skills, that's where the real progress happens. There's a reason people say math is a good foundation for programming. No matter the language or framework you use, logic and computation are the heart of coding. The syntax may change, but the logical thinking you need stays the same. Tutorials won't build that skill for you. Working through your own projects and solving problems as they come up will. Not at all. Tutorials are a great resource to introduce you to new concepts or to give you a sense of structure. But the key is finding a balance. Use them to learn the basics, but don't let them become a crutch. When you tackle your own projects, that's when you'll really feel things start to click. Remember, learning to code is a journey. Keep the balance, don't be afraid of mistakes, and take on challenges head on. So go ahead, dive in, and start building. That's where the real learning begins. If you agree with this video, feel free to give this video a like and share for others to benefit.